All right, everybody, welcome back um, to the fourth match here with Just Guy Flash. Uh, this is a risky keep, but I'm going to do it. We have double opt, and we're on the draw. So I think this hand has a lot of good things going for it. Cinder Glade, so it looks like we're up against uh, Scape Shift. So it would have been nice to have Spell Snare up here for their two mana ramp spell. Uh, being on the draw definitely makes a difference in a matchup like this. Colony Heart Expedition. So we're going to try to hit land uh, number two here. We don't hit it, so we kept a bit of a greedy hand, obviously. Um, never move. So it's removed three quest counters. Sure. Yeah, our opponent is looking good here so far. Uh, land number two is great. So now we can still counter plus play opt. Just snap this off. If our opponent has another two mana spell, it's going to be pretty good for them. We're not playing any main deck uh, land destruction. Which is obviously rough. Our opponent having the double natural Valka draw means it's going to be really difficult for us to win through counter spells. Uh, land is obviously going to be really important for us here. No red mana. But not that we necessarily need it or anything. Obviously we want to keep up Logic Knot here for potential prime time. Our opponent can sacrifice this, put two cards on the battlefield tapped. So what we want to do is make them use their triggers on our creatures and then maybe force through some burn at the end of the day. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, flashback and opt here just to get something going. Another Snapcaster Mage, uh, not quite necessary when we already have one in hand. And we do want to draw towards potential burn spells. I think we just attack here. And we play a Scalding Tarn to make sure that we can fuel Logic Knot if we need to. Sure, cycling. Yep, so that's going to be one, two, three, four. They're going to get, wow, they're going to get, yeah, that's a lot of triggers. Yep, at this point, natural draws kill us. Like a natural, just an, I think one land kills us. This is 12 damage. We go to six. So the fact that we kept a really greedy seven, we got punished pretty harshly. Yeah. Obviously, our opponent's not going to play around Helix, and we are dead. But at least we got to conceal maybe part of our deck. That's really unfortunate for us. Uh, these are obviously coming in. They could have Summoner's Pacts, where that's where I like a Dispel. Um, I think we want to cut some number of Path to Exile, because if a Prime Time resolves, we're obviously in a really tough spot, as is. Thunder Mod is just 5 damage out of nowhere, which could be pretty good against them. Uh, and then maybe Dispels. They could also be playing... Oh, well, Calling Heart Expedition means Wear Tear uh, becomes okay. So Dispels are a maybe. Two Path to Exile are an easy cut. Um, this is not the matchup for Electrolyze, for sure. Uh, instant Speed Threats like Restoration Angel, especially in conjunction with this 3-drop slot, uh, I think is going to be okay. Uh, and maybe we can cut... I think cut one Bolt. Maybe even two. Colony Heart Expedition means they're probably not through the Breach, but... Again, this, this can hit Summoner's Packs, and I think that's more important than Dispel. Um, 
maybe cut one lightning helix. Yeah. Okay. So again, burn is important, but only really to close the game. So you don't need a massive, massive amount of them. You just need maybe one or two in conjunction with a Snapcaster Mage, which is why I'm comfortable cutting um, them in this matchup. Oh, is this hand good enough? It's essentially a multi six with this path to exile uh, in our opener. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going Mulligan. I think that's really greedy, a really greedy keep. Like we're not doing anything relevant until turn four, and so we might as well have already lost. Obviously, we have draws, but given our hand, this this hand's much better. We have uh, turn three, click on the draw or spell queller. Um, turn three. So this thunder, this this could be an aggressive enough curve if we draw some relevant disruption for them. Our opponent is uh, wondering whether they should keep their seven card hand. Maybe a good sign for us, but it maybe not. Doesn't necessarily mean anything. So it looks like uh, our opponent also went down to six. Uh, let's go ahead and bottom that path to exile. Let's see, what did our opponent do here with their scry? They We both put a card on the bottom, so. Lead with Colonnade. Let's hope our opponent doesn't have a search for tomorrow. No search is good. Um, yeah. Let's mitigate our life loss here. So we are representing Spell Snare, and we did show it to them game one. Uh, with that said, wow, our opponent does not have a another path tags. That's great. Um, I think I'm going to. I'd rather Spell Queller something here rather than Vendillion Click. I can always Vendillion Click end of turn. I think I'd rather Spell Queller or Ramp Spell. No Ramp Spell means. I'm just going to go ahead and get an island here. Cast V click, target my opponent. Snipping tool. Um Let's uh let's make their hand a bit bigger here. Okay. So we have their hand. So they have Prime Time, Call Me Heart, Scape Shift. Uh, I think I'd rather get rid of one of their. Uh... Actually, I think I'd rather just get a, get rid of Prime Time here. Colonnade's not a bad draw. I could have taken one of their two mana spells, um, and that way they can't double spell on this turn. But I think I'm just going to spell quell just about any spell at this point. So uh, they played the foothills. I think I'd rather get the Colony Heart Expedition, actually, consider everything considered here. Everything. Right? Actually, no. Because they'd have to crack both of their lands here to cast it. And then they don't get the triggers on it. And if they want to cast it this turn, they have to give up some of their fetches here. I imagine they get a basic forest here. But again, Colony Heart Expedition is not too threatening here. So they got rid of their far seek. Oh, they got a stomping ground. That's interesting. Yep. Colony Heart. So we know they're sitting on Scape Shift, Mountain, Two Unknowns. 
Helix is not a bad draw. I do think it's uh, it does speed up our clock. It means they are dead next turn if they don't kill us. And the fact that we can't get Primeval Titan this turn is pretty good. Okay. They could obviously blow up our board here, though. They're going for a scape shift? Doesn't look like it, because they need double green, right? Yeah. So may maybe they just mistapped. But we are going to spell Queller a scape shift. This means our opponent is dead. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and attack here. Again, we saw we don't want a lot of burn, but we want enough to... Whoops. Enough to close out the game. Okay. So obviously, not keeping greedy hands really does help. I think the setup we have here is pretty good. Again, I'm not too excited about these Path to Exiles, but it's a necessary evil. Um, we don't want to fall behind against a Primeval Titan. It could be enough to just buy us one turn. Uh, ideally, we want to counter Primeval Titan on the stack, though. Path to Exile does turn our 7-card hands into essentially 6-card hands. So this hand is a turn three Queller, and that's about it. Not a lot of interaction, and it doesn't beat the best draws from Scapeshift. Uh, with that said, I think it's going to be really hard to mulligan a hand like this. Hopefully our opponent does not lead on Search for Tomorrow, but it looks like they might. No Search for Tomorrow. It's good for us. Here we can just lead on Colonnade, preserve our life, because remember, Scape Shift... Scape Scape shift is uh, pretty good uh, in terms of, of killing us on six lands, I believe, or, or yeah. Dispel. Um, yeah, let's just get another. All right. So our opponent does not crack their secure tri builder, which probably means they have a lot of lands in hand. Or this one damage is important. Let's pretend we're sitting here thinking about path and we're just drink taking a drink of water. Alternatively, they could have Colony Heart Expedition and they'd rather uh, boost its counters. Skirt Tri Builder, okay. So this could be a turn three or turn four prime time from our opponent, which means we really want to draw. Like, not great. If our opponent goes like sack sack here, um, I'm gonna feel really bad about our position. Okay, no sack sack. Always a good uh, a good sign here. I think we just take the one here. We are doing a good job representing counter spells. Yeah, I think I'll just counter just about anything. And at this point, our life total is already pretty low, so I feel comfortable shocking. Lightning bolt. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Do they play another land here? They have another land. I have a feeling that they probably have a Primeval Titan. Spellcaller means another Scapeshift doesn't kill us. I 
I mean, these Sakura Tribe Elders are, are getting in the beats here. But we can't go shields down here at all. What we could do is flash in Restoration Angel. And... Um, Alternatively, we could go opt, snap, opt. Wow, okay, does, is our opponent going for Primeval Titan here? They going for Scape Shift, maybe? Thrag Tusk, wow. Oof, that's right out of range. So here I think I want to find a Logic Knot, ideally. Alien click, wow. Um, yeah, I guess that resolves. Um, although we will be forced to probably lightning bolt it. I think I'd rather go click here to be more mana efficient and see what my opponent is working with. Farseek, uh, I'll, I'll let them keep that. Helix is not a bad draw, uh, but we can just um, obviously Lightning Bolt the Thrag Tusk on our opponent's turn. That way they can't attack us with the Beast Token. Oh god, Valkut is such a good draw. Wow. So I think here we have to... Just Lightning Bolt the Beast, or the Thrag Tusk. I don't think we beat a Valakut in the long game here, though, which is definitely a problem. So one, two, three, four, five. Spell Queller that, it'll force them to crack this foothills, at least now, if they want to um, get that trigger. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Which means that our Vendillion click, um, oh no, this, this blows up our whole board, doesn't it? Yeah. Sure, because then they get Farseek back. Dang, that, I think we could have beaten a lot of things, but Valkut, just, just the natural Valkut is so hard to beat. Oh wow, they're going for our face here? They're not even going for click? Ooh, Logic Knot. Oh man, that's, that's a really good draw. This means we can go Restoration Angel on their draw step targeting Vendillion click oh no but they have these they have these tribe elders obviously which just blows up Vendillion click in response so if we attack are we forced to helix the beast I think so but are we winning if we don't attack I don't think so So if our opponent draws just like a natural mountain, yeah, I think I, I think I just have to I have to pass here. Um, windswept heath. So what I could do here, uh, no, I have to. Oh wow. I think I'm dead. I think I'm supposed to do this on my main phase. God, I'm not I'm not playing optimally here at all. Yeah, I think this was a misplay. Not that not that we were probably winning this game, but I think now they go fetch.
Yeah. Because land is the one thing that gets us here. I imagine they have four stomping grounds. Could be wrong. Okay, that resolved. That's a good first, although they can still kill us here, right? Yeah. I guess the question is, do they have a fetchable mountain with windswept teeth? I imagine if they're doing this now, then they do. Oh, another cinder glade, sure. Yep. And then they go crack, crack. Yep. So it doesn't really matter when we played our spell. Yeah. Unfortunately, they just had, they just drew that Valakut, and that's, that's rough. Yep. And that, that gets us in the long game. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. That was the fourth match against Red Green Scape Shift with Jeskai Flash. And I'll see you guys for the fifth and final match of this uh, Modern Competitive League. See you guys soon.